Hey everybody, Haku here with my review of Little Witch Academia episode 21, and it's kind of amazing in itself that we're already at the 21st episode now. It just, I don't know, it seems like it's been kind of a long time, but I guess it also seems, or it also doesn't seem like it's been that long. Uh, it's just crazy to be already at 21 and like not wanting the series to end because this was a damn good episode. Another one of those episodes that reminds you why this is such a good show. Um, so either way, before I get off on a derail myself on a sidetrack, because I felt myself about to go there, um, let's talk about this episode first, then if I want to get derailed and t talk about the show as a whole and random stuff, I can do that at the end. But either way, talking about the episode part by part first, uh, we start off seeing Andrew and his friend whose name I don't quite remember. I don't think it was Nick or Nicholas. It was Frank. Frank was his name. Um, so yeah, Andrew and Frank, and Andrew's uh, asking like how do I call Luna Nova what's going on with that but apparently they're on some different uh, grid or something so they can't even call because uh, Andrew wanted to tell Akko you know you left your hat but he's like oh well she'll run into me again eventually it, it's been happening quite a lot it'll happen again sometime soon um, then the, the the sports ball fools are still rioting and just uh, it's just a game. Those are those are the worst kinds of people, I swear. But um, yeah. But apparently they have these apps, and one is a place that's essentially Twitter, where they can uh, vent their frustration. And another another is set up as a place, or like a game that calms them down. So it's clear that Croy is using that to sort of sort of uh, gather the energy of frustration or the energy of anger, you know. Um, like she was saying before, like negative emotions are more powerful or generate more power. So it's clear that she's using that to farm for some um, health. She might even have rigged the game to make the riots happen. Who knows? But it's clear she's using that to gain at to gain power. Um, then uh, the sixth word apparently is Leon, and it is the most precious word. Uh, and when they said that, I was like, it's totally gonna be like love or something because of. Um, what they were saying with Andrew before, and I was like, please don't let this be a shipping episode unless it's, unless it's Akko x Diana, which I think the majority of fans have been, uh, like, holding on to hopes for, um, <laughs> weirdly enough, but either way, or I see a lot of Akko x Susie, but either way, um, we see Hannah and Barbara thanking Akko, Akko then asks Croy about the word, and Croy says, uh, you gotta climb Wagandia, which then, um, Ursula tells Akko is a poisonous tree, so don't do this stuff. Um, but uh, the scene with Ursula and uh, all the scenes with Ursula were great as always. I really, I like every scene with Akko and Ursula. Just the tension because of Ursula being Chariot, but also the relationship between them. Every scene is so good. Um, Diana says that the pollen will like take a person's magic and render them unable to fly for life, so if you want to ever learn to fly, Akko, you should probably not do it. Um, then Croy's like, nah man, you still got time, so Croy takes her there. Uh, Ursula, we see some hints at some Ursula flashbacks, and I'm like, Ursula flashbacks, do want, I do want this. Um, so Croy tries to make Akko suspicious of Ursula. Um, we find out that Chariot was given the Calam Soleil uh, after like instead of Croy pretty much they both went to the tree and Croy was like you know I want to revive the Triskelion and be the greatest mage or greatest wizard and um uh then Chariot was like yeah and I want to make everyone smile and be happy and then um the uh the rod the Salome Kale was given to um or the Cologne Soleil I got that backwards was given to uh Chariot instead of Croy so uh, then we we see some more flashbacks dealing with that throughout this whole interaction, but uh, just basically it was really, really good. Um, and I, I like seeing their different wishes and all that. Uh, so then um, I like the one line that Croy had where she tells Ursula when she's flying away, she's like, you know, you're doing this because Akko is your hope at you completing your dream. So it sort of sends Ursula on that path like, oh man, I've pushed Akko to put her life on the line and do all of this by uh, trying to push my dream onto her of uh, reviving it and making everyone happy. Um, and just the scene 
where Croy starts holding her back to prevent her from getting to Akko, and Akko's telling her, you know, you have to let me go, you gotta stop holding me back. That scene was just so emotional and so good. The OST was incredible, especially um, Ursula getting knocked out, of, knocked out of the sky, and then Croy yelling for her to save herself, and then being like, you know, it's already too late. Ursula flies through the pollen to save Akko again, just such an amazing scene. And then after that, with the flashback leading into her hugging Akko, the feels were so incredibly hard. And apparently, Leon, I think, means thank you. I think that was it, because that's what she said that activated the word. But either way, um, I forget, what did it do? I guess it didn't transform into any different shape. All it did was uh, seemingly heal Ursula. Hopefully healed her magic, or maybe that her magic will be gone for good. We don't know. Um, then at the very end we see that Croy plans to break the seal herself, just pretty much brute force it open instead of using the Cologne Soleil. Uh, so yeah, it was just such an amazing and emotional episode. Um, I thought the animation was brilliant, the music was genius as always, Little Witch Academia just has such a great OST. It's almost unbelievable at times how good it is. Um, I think there was only one thing that could have made this episode better. I'm going to go ahead and say what I'm giving the episode. I'm giving it... 10 endless trees out of 10. Perfect score. And I think there's one thing that would have made this jump up beyond a perfect score to like an 11 or 12, because this was emotional and well written and well paced enough to be a perfect score, but it would have been even higher if we had gotten the uh, reveal. So to a point I'm like, man, I wish we got, a, got the reveal because this would have been another great time to have it. But there's also this feeling on the other hand where I'm like, okay, I I can kind of be glad that they saved it, because that means we get to have an episode with the uh, chariot reveal in the future that's going to be so freaking good. Um, so yeah, this is, I guess, ensuring us another good episode whenever that happens. Um, if Croy wanted to be the worst villain ever, you know what would have made fans hate her and make her such a terrible villain? would have been if she would have just told Akko, oh by the way, Ursula's chariot, and just spoiled it. Seeing Akko just get spoiled with the secret, that would have been the uh, the most heel move ever. That would have been the uh, the worst thing that she could have done as a villain right there. But uh, yeah, that's it. Also, what I was going to say about the series as a whole is like the first few episodes I gave such great reviews to, and then there were a few episodes where I was like, eh, and then it got back into the main story and I thought it was great. But I think even, I'm glad we had those episodes that didn't really have anything to do with the main series. It was, eh. It made you think for the first eight to ten episodes that it's like, okay, when are they going to get into any main story? This is just like an episodic kind of thing. There's not much development. But then when we started getting the development and getting the, um, uh, getting the main story at around episodes, I guess, 12 to 16 or so, um, when we started getting that main story and development, since we had been through these characters and just saw wacky episodic adventures with them, it made the characters feel a lot more familiar to us. It, seeing them in those kinds of situations really prepared us to see them in these serious situations. Um, so I actually think it was a good move now. I think it was a chance. Um, it was definitely a chance and there's definitely room for people to not like it. But uh, I think for me the chance paid off. And uh, I think that's what Trigger's been all about with Little Witch Academia. You see with the animation, you see with the music, you see with the, the voice acting especially, and the voice acting is so, so good because of it. I think they take so many chances all over the place with different things and trying new stuff that other people haven't tried, and trying to have their own sound, their own visuals, that don't look or sound like other stuff that's out there right now. And I think that the uh, chances they take, and they took chances like that with... Uh, projects that the same people worked on back at, uh, were, were they with Gynax, I think? Um, I, I, sorry, I don't remember which studio it was that, uh, they were at before this, or they did the same with some other things like Kiesnaver, and I think a lot of the chances in Kiesnaver didn't really pay off, but that's beside the point, or with Kill la Kill, and the chances are what skyrocketed it to popularity. I think that in general, Trigger just, they take so, so many chances, and when they work out, it's great, because when a chance like that works out, it's like it's something that we haven't seen that we don't see all the time. And uh, I think that's the thing that's really enjoyable about Little Witch Academia, is that when I watch it, it doesn't feel like any other show. It doesn't fit into any stereotype for me. 
Um, and I think that's just great, really. But, um, yeah, that's it. Just wanted to get on a sidebar about the show, because I had just thought about today how much I, uh, I've actually come to appreciate those early episodes that weren't having to do with the main plot, because they made the main plot feel more important when we got to it. Uh, so, yeah, that is it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Ran on a little longer than I expected, but that doesn't matter. Uh, like if you do like the video and comment down there to tell me what you thought of this episode, what you thought of my thoughts on it, all of that kind of stuff. Um, subscribe if you want for more Little Witch Academia and much more, covering tons of other anime and stuff on the channel, and manga, and TV shows, and occasionally games, I guess. Um, just lots of different stuff, um, light novels even. Follow on Twitter if you want. I can talk to you there about whatever you want or uh, uh, just keep you updated there on uh, stuff for the channel. That's it. So thank you once again for watching and I'll see you all next time.